Hi everybody, so full disclosure, I'm a high level affiliate partner, but these recommendations come straight from real client outcomes. After migrating 47 technology consulting firms to go a high level and auditing over $180,000 in annual platform spend, I discovered a pattern that costs businesses thousands. Companies pick marketing automation plans based on feature lists instead of how they actually operate. Then a few months later, they abandoned the platform because the foundation never matched the reality. Here is your decision tree. Solo coach or consultant with one brand? Go with starter. Agency with three or more client brands needing separate portals? Unlimited. Two brands? Start with starter and only upgrade when manual separation takes more than two hours a week. That's your break even point. Let me show you the three mistakes that cost people thousands in wasted spend. These three mistakes account for 80% of failed implementations I audit, and they're completely avoidable once you understand your operational structure. So here's the financial reality. Choosing the wrong plan costs you $2,400 a year in wasted features or wasted time. Watch what this looks like in practice. Starter gives you one workspace, one contact list, one funnel library. Unlimited gives you completely separate client workspaces with isolated data, independent permissions, and white label branding per sub account. The visual difference is obvious, but the financial impact? That's where people make expensive mistakes. Mistake number one, not realizing that Starter includes unlimited contacts, but caps you at three user seats. Perfect for solo operators or small teams under five. Both plans include full API access, unlimited integrations, and all core automation features. The only real difference is sub-account separation. Mistake number two, agencies start with starter, hit three clients, and waste hours manually separating data that should live in distinct sub-accounts with isolated contact data, funnels, and reporting. Mistake number three, solo founders buy unlimited thinking they'll grow into it. Then 18 months later, they realize they've burned $3,600 on unused sub accounts. Test starter for 14 days risk free. If you need unlimited, you'll know within the first week when you try adding a second client brand. And if you start with starter and need to upgrade, your data transfers instantly. No rebuilding funnels, no lost contacts, no disrupted campaigns. That $2,400 you saved by choosing starter over unlimited? That's your annual email marketing subscription, six months of Facebook ad spend, or a part-time virtual assistant for content creation. Just last month, I helped a leadership coach with 1,200 contacts and three team members switch from Unlimited to Starter. She kept all functionality but saved $2,400 a year because she runs one brand, not multiple client portals. Now, I want you to pause this video right now, open a note or grab a piece of paper, and write down two things. First, how many brands am I managing? Second, do these brands need completely separate contact lists, funnels, and reporting? Take 10 seconds. I'll wait. Now that you've assessed your structure, ask yourself this. Am I managing one brand or multiple client brands? Completely separate data. That single question determines your correct plan every single time. Use my affiliate link in the description to start your 14-day trial. You'll get instant access to test both plans, plus set up notes showing exactly which plan matches your structure. Remember, one brand with one team equals starter. Multiple client brands requiring data separation equals unlimited. Choosing based on a feature list instead of structure equals $2,400 wasted every year. Start your free trial using the link below and make the decision that funds real growth, not unused features. Next up, we're gonna cover the Conversations tab, the feature that saves agencies 12 hours a week on client communication, but 80% of unlimited users don't even know it exists. Come back next week for that video.